Good morning, Bobcats, and welcome to WBLS Morning News coming to you on this wonderful Wednesday. No, I didn't forget to take the curlers out of my hair this morning. It is Wacky Hair Day for this wonderful Wednesday, a day that bridges our friends at home with Digital Academy with our friends at school for a fun-filled spirit day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and you may be seated. Today is Wednesday. That's wonderful Wednesday, April the 14th of 2021, and it's special area day two. That special area day two. I don't have any birthdays listed today, and if we have any faculty and staff birthdays, I can't get to uh, my email there via internet. So if you have a birthday today, faculty and staff, we wish you a happy, happy, happy birthday. And uh, we'll wish you a belated one tomorrow if, if you do. 
Let's take a look at what's cooking today in the Buck Lake Cafeteria. This sounds like a great lunch. You're going to have grilled cheese sandwiches, cucumbers, veggie juice, assorted fruit. As always, you get your choice of white chocolate or strawberry milk. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for this wonderful Wednesday. Yesterday, I hear we broke records. We were over 90 degrees on the 13th day of April. Goodness gracious. Well, today the high is going to be 86, a low of 59 with sunshine throughout the day. Get out and enjoy it today, guys, because tomorrow we have a 90% chance of rain coming into Tallahassee. Hey, we want to congratulate Miss Alex Clark for Miss Harrison's fourth grade class. You did it, Alex. You met the fourth grade Sunshine State Challenge. That means you read 12 Sunshine State books, took the AR test, and passed them. We are so proud of you, and I know already you're on your way to the Principal's Challenge. You've got another friend that is right behind you in your class for the Principal's Challenge, and we sure are proud of you him as well. Listen, we have somebody else who met the Principal's Challenge. We don't normally let first graders do the Sunshine State Principal's Challenge, but Miss Threadgill, first grade teacher extraordinaire, she read all 15 Sunshine State books. And so we are so thankful for you, Miss Threadgill, in instilling a love of learning and reading in all of our children from the very beginning. This week, our wonderful Wednesday is wacky hair day send in those pictures if you're at home or at school we can't wait to show them next week in recognition of earth day we're going to wear blue or green so you can be like the land or the water or you could be both whatever you choose to do we also always have so much fun on our spirit days and i can't wait to see all the wacky hairstyles today Speaking of lots of fun, I want to share this again with you in case you didn't get to see it yesterday. There's been lots of fun and excitement happening down in kindergarten in Ms. Kerner and Ms. Huggins' class as they took care of eggs. They And um, now the exciting thing is they have little baby chicks that have hatched out of those eggs. And so they shared a fun story evidently called Chicks and Salsa. So I want you to meet our newest little bobcats, Chip, Nacho, Queso, Guac, salsa, and cheese. Check out these pictures. So today, your report cards will be going home. And I have to tell you, when my children were little, I don't know what it is at your house, but at my house, my children were not allowed to open the report cards till their mom uh, got them. And because I believe on the outside, it says, to the parents of Cookie Dough Young. So Cookie Dough would have to bring me his report card, and then we would open it up together. So I don't know what it is at your house. That's just how it was at mine. Listen, our third graders, you started your state testing yesterday, and I heard you did amazing, amazing. And listen, all of our other friends were working so hard to be really quiet so you could concentrate. And when you see those signs on the doors, you know there are children working hard inside. So we have to be walk very still and quiet so we don't disturb. They're going to continue for today, so I want you to continue being respectful so they can be doing their very best job. It's imperative. What does that mean? It means important. Here's a message from a special guest. Hi, I'm Mr. Smiley, and I'm here to say that today you're going to do great on that test. 
So give it your best effort. Think real hard and do your best. Have a good day. Thank you, Mr. Smiley. I know our cats are going to do great at supporting each other. What, how great to see you again. Hey, that's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr, be prepared, be upstanding, be responsible, and always, always, always be respectful citizens in case we don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Have a great week.